Let's say you have an apple here with a simple animated sprite. You have an area 2D as the base of that. And inside of the script, you just have a bunch of functionality that you want to work with the player, whatever it may be. Uh, for my example here, I just have the player check and then I'm just going to self queue free. Now in my world scene, I just have a simple player and I want to test this apple. I want to collect it. Well, when I play, you can see that it works. But what if I want to add these apples in my tile map? Well, that's not impossible. In fact, it's actually something in Godot that we can do very easily. What we can do is create a new tile set or, you know, use your pre-existing tile set. We'll go to tile set as this is where my editor is. I'll go to the plus sign scene collection. When I hit the plus sign right there, and I will just drag in my scene that I want to drag in. Now here I can go to tile map, click my apple, and I can just start drag like drawing. You can draw your apples and if I hit play, you will see that these apples work exactly the same way as the regular scene. But of course, these are all in a tile set. And you can even see, though, that they're animated, which is perfect. That is exactly what we want. Now, one additional thing, I'm just going to hit play, go to the remote section. You will see that all these apples that I've created are children of the tile map. So do keep that in mind on whatever you may be building. Uh, it's really up to you. But the biggest advantage of this, at least to me, is that now we have a really good way of putting things in a very specific position and checking things within our tile map. This can be very advantageous if I have a world scene, maybe you're making an RTS, uh, stuff like that. So it can be very good for that. So I will see you all in the future. Uh, if this was useful, do hit the sub button down below, uh, subscribe to my email list, and hopefully I will see you all in the future.